Hi, welcome back to Words and Music. This is lesson two. Um, there's gonna be a lot of writing today. So what I need you to do, I need you to go get a pencil, maybe two or three pencils and some paper. And you need that right now. So hit pause, don't keep going on, hit pause and make sure you have uh, a lot of paper and make sure that you've got um, a lot of writing utensils because you're gonna do a lot of writing this morning. Um, so press pause. So we're on words and music lesson two parts of a song. The very first thing we're gonna do this morning is we're gonna do something called a free write. Now, a couple, th a couple things, a few things about a free write. Number one, I do want you to write about anything that's on your mind. I do want you to write for the whole five minutes. You can literally write about anything, okay? I'm not gonna check this, this is just for you. This is to get your brain going, this is to get just your thoughts and your feelings and all of that kind of stuff out on paper. Do keep your pen or pencil moving the entire five minutes, okay? So don't stop. If you don't know what to write, write, I don't know what to write, I don't know what to write, I don't know what to write, until something else comes out. Don't worry about conventions like spelling or punctuation right now. Okay, once again, this is not for a grade. This is just to get your mind going. So here's what you need to do. You need to set a timer for five minutes. And my, my personal preference on setting the timer, I would do it so that you can't see the timer. Um, I'd rather you just keep writing until you hear a beat. So go set a timer for five minutes, have mom or dad set a timer. Um, pause and do this for five minutes. Press pause now. Okay, we are back from pause. Um, what'd you write about? Were you surprised about what you wrote? W were there any like, aha, I've been feeling this way and I didn't know I was feeling this way. The free rights are important. I don't wanna get fully into why the free rights are important, but free rights are important if for no other reason than, hey, it gives you a chance to write about anything you wanna write about. Now, as I said before, you guys are going to write a lot today. So we've already done five minutes of that. Now, either in your journal or on a piece of paper, you're gonna brainstorm and you're gonna write down everything you think you know about the parts of a song. So. Ready, set, go. You have one minute starting right now. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three two, one. What'd you write down? So let's start talking about the different parts of a song. Once again, if you want to write this down, I find that writing things down helped me. It's called taking notes. Um, no pun intended there. Um, but you, as you go throughout this, I think it would help you to write this stuff down. However, I'm also going to send this PowerPoint out to your parents and uh, this will also be available um, on YouTube, obviously, but since you're listening to right, me right now on YouTube. So let's explore the different parts of a song. Uh, the title is the name of the song. I think that's pretty explanatory. Um, the theme is the main subject of a song. Um, just like when you come to music class, the main subject that we're dealing with is music. Now, your, your reading teacher might use music to help you learn something 
in reading, and I will use reading to help you learn something in music, but the main subject of my class is music, and the main subject of your reading class is reading. Um, the hook is a little bit trickier to explain. Uh, the hook is the part of the song that catches or hooks a listener's attention and makes the song easy to remember. So sort of think of Shake It Off. Shake It Off is it, sort of catchy. Um, and it, that whole Shake It Off thing is sort of the hook of it. Um, but it, it, the hook is sort of what brings people into the song. Um, the, now here are sort of the things that you ought to be familiar with from class. Um, oftentimes, not all the time, but oftentimes the verse is the A section of the song and the chorus is the B section. That's not always the case. This land is your land. Um, the chorus is the A section. And the only reason you know the difference between the chorus and the verse there are because the chorus keeps, uh, keeps the same words over and over again. Otherwise, it's the same exact thing. Um, but the verse uses details to support the title, the theme, and the hook. So that's typically where this, like if there's a story where the story's getting um, progressed along or moved along, um, or it's just supporting what's going to be sung in uh, the chorus. The chorus conveys the main subject of the song. Um, it's usually a little bit simpler, and quite honestly, uh, it typically is the part that most people sing along with. Um, if, if you're at a concert and the band's up there playing, this is typically what you're gonna hear everybody join in on and sing. Um, they typically repeat the chorus multiple times um, and it's typically simpler than the verses. Um, if just for the fact that for the most part, the words tend to repeat. Once again, this, these are not like hard and fast rules like you these are things that can change once again it's usually simpler than the verses is it always no just like songs typically include multiple verses do they always no but we're talking about overall this is typically what you're going to hear the bridge is sort of a difficult part of a song um so for instance, the, the bridge tends to introduce a new twist or a new way of thinking about the song. Uh, David Wilcox, um, who is just a fantastic songwriter, will sometimes use a bridge. Um, and it's just, and it normally happens towards the end of the song or at least the second half of the song. Not all songs have a bridge. Um, so like, don't think that hey, this is definitely gonna happen. Um, but um, bridge, a bridge just sort of connects from one part of a song to another. And once again, it's typically some sort of twist that they wanna put in there. Um, but musically, it sounds differently. Maybe the rhyming scheme's a little different, but we will get into that more as we go. Now, in your packets, you should have the words to this song called Many Roads. This is a song written by Andrew Peterson. Um, and I've heard him sing this song live a few times. I kept trying to find the video that I wanted to use for this and um, just couldn't get it to work the way I wanted it to. So what I did was I recorded the song. Um, all the rights are still reserved for Andrew Peterson. This is not for distribution. This is only for um, our class. So please don't like go out and share the recording or anything like that. This is literally only recorded for this particular class. Um, and I tried to let it be as live as possible. So I'll just go and tell you right now, there are a few places I go a little bit flat, but that's okay. If you'll step inside this great glass elevator It'll take us up above the city lights To where the planet curves away to the equator I want to show you something fine 
You can see the roads that we all travel just to get here. A million minuscule decisions in a line. Why they brought us to this moment isn't clear. But that's all right. We've got all night. Could it be that the many roads you took to get here were just for me to tell this story and for you to hear this song and your many hopes and your many fears were meant to bring you here all along. So if you'll trust me with your time, I'll spend it wisely. I will sing to you with all I have to give If you traveled all this way I will do my best to play My biggest hits that don't exist And if you lend to me your ear I'll sing them pretty And I will never ever sing them out of tune I will not forget the words of any chorus, bridge, or verse. I promise you, love. Could it be that the many roads you took to get here were just for me to tell this story and for you to hear this song and your many hopes and your many fears were meant to bring you here all along? Lucky it's a little out of tune We've got Andy on the guitar Cause I promised him some Texas barbecue How I love to watch you listen to the music Cause you sing to me a music of your own as I cast out all these lines So afraid that I will find I am alone All alone Could it be that the many roads I took to get here Were just for you to tell that story And for me to hear that song And my many hopes And many fears Meant to bring me here 